Hi, I'm Denise, English teacher and language coach at Positive Language Learners. In this video, we're looking at how to pluralize nouns which end with Y. Examples of nouns which end with Y in English are baby, family, library, and fly. So we're talking about one baby because these are singular nouns. And we're talking about one library, one family, and one fly. How about if we wanted to speak about more than one baby, more than one family, more than one library, or more than one fly? What would we say? And if we had to write the words, what would we write? What we do in English is to turn such nouns to plural to speak about more than one of them. We remove the Y and we add I-E-S. So let's work with baby, family, and library first. Baby is spelled B-A-B-Y. So we're speaking about one baby. But when we want to speak about more than one baby, we remove the Y from baby and we add I-E-S. And that becomes babies. With family, it is spelled F-A-M-I-L-Y. So one family. But when we want to write and speak about more than one family, we remove the Y and we add I-E-S. So we get F-A-M-I-L-I-E-S. And that is pronounced families. And then library. One library is L-I-B-R-A-R-Y. More than one library is L-I-B-R-A-R-I-E-S. Because we removed the Y from library and we added I-E-S. Now let's look at the noun fly. To make fly plural, to speak about two or more flies, we remove the Y as well and we add I-E-S. And fly becomes flies. So the rule is, generally speaking, whenever a noun ends with Y in English, we remove the Y and add IES to make that noun plural. But when the noun ends with either AY or OY or EY, usually we do not follow this rule. Usually, we simply add an S. Let's look at some examples. Boy, toy, key, and tray. Right, so boy, toy, key, and tray. All of these nouns end with Y, but they don't just end with Y, they end with a vowel just before the Y. Specifically, they end with A-Y, E-Y, and O-Y. And because they end with A-Y, E-Y, and O-Y, in English, what we do is we do not remove the Y and add I-E-S. We simply add S to the end of these nouns to make them plural. These nouns follow a different rule to the nouns that we looked at before. So the ones we looked at before if we look closely at them again, we will see that the letters that came before the Y in each one were consonants. If we look at family, for example, L came before the Y. If we look at library, R came before the Y. If we look at baby, B came before the Y. If we look at fly, L came before the Y. So because a consonant followed the Y in those words, when we wanted to make them plural, we needed to follow the rule of removing the Y and adding I-E-S. But when we have a close look at our new sets of nouns, boy, tray, and key, we see that just before the Y, these particular vowels pop up. They are A, O, and E. And whenever these vowels come before the Y in a noun, and we want to make the noun plural, we do not remove the Y and add I-E-S. We simply add S to the end of the noun. 
So we go from boy to boys, B-O-Y-S. And we go from tray to trays, T-R-A-Y-S. And we go from key to keys, K-E-Y-S. So what you need to remember is that if the noun ends with Y and there's a consonant before the Y, usually what you will need to do is remove the Y and add I-E-S to make it plural. But you want to look out for those nouns which have the vowels A, E, or O just before the Y. And when you see that, usually what is required is not for you to remove the Y and add I-E-S to make the noun plural. Usually, what is required in those instances is for you to simply add S to the end of the noun to make it plural. For example, boys, trays, and keys, as we looked at in this video. To practice this, follow the links in the description to quizzes that I have created, which hopefully will help you to get better at this. Until then, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.